Nine. Hi everyone, we're gonna be starting in a few minutes. Um, so please be ready. Hello everyone. So this, um, for our today's workshop, we're gonna be using our white t-shirts and our stamps with our colorful paints. So please have that ready um, for later. Thank you. And the paint is fabulous. Gone with the paint is fabric paint, just so you guys know, so you're not using the wrong paint. It is fabric paint. Okay, Alina's is on the pavement. All right. Hello, everyone. We're going to get started. Uh, my name is Pua, if you don't know. I'm going to be hosting today's workshop. So we're going to start with um, looking at introductions, supplies, artwork, viewing, and yeah. So um, we're going to look at the Padlet, see if there's any new artwork. Okay. First, we're gonna go over the agenda. So the agenda is uh, right here. We're gonna start off with um, welcome and introduction, supplies, artwork viewing. And then Alicia is going to show you guys how to put on your ear. Jeez. And then after, I'm going to show you the song of the week, which is called Soku Nasina. And then I will be reading you the legend of the week about Sina and her 10 brothers. And then for the main part of our workshop, we're going to be doing um, Siapo slash block printing, which is going to be really fun. And then to end it all off, we're going to have the quote and words of the week and closing announcement and reminders. So to start off, um, we're gonna look at the Padlet to see if there's anything new, if anybody uploaded their stuff from last week. Oh, it looks like someone uploaded a video of someone doing their drumming. Wow, that was amazing. 
keep practicing your drumming, Elena. You're doing great. And I think that's all we have for the Padlet. So now we're gonna move on to our next item today. And um, Alicia is actually going to come show you guys how to put on your ear. So please welcome in Alicia. Hey guys. Oops. Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you guys how to tie your ear. If you guys don't already, I want you guys to grab out your ears, your little um, colorful ears. Wait a little bit, just in case you guys don't have it. Okay, I'm going to start now. Okay, so you guys are going to want to grab your two ends. You guys are going to want to pull it to one side the left or the right and pull to the right. Take it tight and simple knot. Like that. Mm -hmm. And if that's not tight enough, you just want to go in and then just do like a, a little knot on the top, but not too tight because you want to still be able to take it out if it's not tight enough. Now I'm going to show you guys the other method. So you take it again. Take your two corners, and then you pull one side in, the left or the right, and pull in the right, and then you take your other side and tuck it in. Make sure she's up here. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss Alicia, for showing us all how to tie our ears. Um, so next, we're going to move on to the song of the week, which I will be showing you all. Oops. Hold on. Oops. Okay, so our song of the week is called So Funasina. Um, we have no instruments today, so first time not using our ukuleles. It's just going to be um, free singing. So... Here we go. So funasina, so funasina, let ama fafi, neo le fe angai ngana e, tangi lao ta neo le ngongo sina, ete mana me aina eo na tifa, i fo vanu a, e vanu a o manu na, so let we Sina. And now we're going to read the legend that goes along with the song. So, um, okay. There was a couple by the name of um, Tafito Fao and Oma Fao who had 12 children. The first 10 were boys all named Tui, followed by their only sister named Sina. Sina was the 11th child. This couple and their children live near the end of the village by the beach. This part of the village um, was the seagull's favorite place to congregate in the sky. They soared on the wind and glided over the ocean. To view their ngungo became a favorite pastime for Sina and her brothers who would leave the house and chase underneath the seagulls that were flying above. 
One day, Sina spotted a white seagull, Mumosina, and fell in love with its beauty. Sadly, the seagull flew off into the forest. Sina begged her brothers to find the seagull for her. After much pleading, her brothers went out to search for the bird. They told Sina to stay home and not to follow them. After some time, Sina got hungry and went out to the forest to call for her brothers. A sawai, ogre, nearby heard Sina, snatched her up and took her home to be his wife. When, Sina's, when the brothers returned to find Sina missing, they went out and searched for her. The youngest brother heard his sisters cry and ran to find her, captured by the Sao Ai. The brothers waited for the Sao Ai to sleep, and when they did, they tied his hair to the nearby tree trunks. When the Sao Ai woke, he saw the brothers running off with Sina. He stood to chase after them, but as he did, he realized he was being held back by the trees. He tugged and tugged, but he could not get his hair free. Sina and her brothers made it safely out the forest and back home to their parents. So that's the story of the week. And the word bank, um, white seagulls, which is Sina, which you heard in the song, you might have heard it. Um, so I, which means um, big ogre, and then children, which is fanau. There we go. And now we're going to have our main part of the workshop led by Alicia, Aaliyah, and um, Donnie Vance, which is our t-shirt printing. So um, I hope you guys will. Hey, hey y'all. <laughs> My name is Puncha. I'm Kinners. I'm Lear. And today we're gonna be designing t-shirts using Seattle techniques. The first things that you're gonna need is your t-shirts and your apron from Pie Fest. Um, you guys will also be needing you guys these stamps that you guys are provided with, and y'all's rollers. Uh, also your fabric paint packs that look like this, and then optional, you can bring out your like brushes from a couple weeks ago to that we used to paint the canvases. Hey y'all, what is Seattle? Girl, Seattle, also known as a tapa cloth, is the Samoan traditional fabric material. It is used as clothing, bed coverings, burial shrouds, decorative pieces, traditional garments, and much more. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, and the siapo is also like made in all across the Pacific. In Tonga, it's like called Natu, and then in Fiji, they call it Masi. Um, each island, they have distinctive designs to show where their tapas originated from. Um. Oh, I think so. I was just a little confused. One. Okay. The cloth of the siapo is known as a ua. The ua is made out of the bark of a mulberry tree. In order to create the ua, we first harvest the mulberry tree. The bark is then stripped using sharp objects. Then it is scraped by using various clamshells, including bi, bai, and asi. The bark is then beaten to stretch and form a piece of ua. With the tool known as an ie on a wood wooden anvil called the tutua, Tilly forms a sheet of ua. Once the sheet is formed, it is laid out to dry. Once the ua is created, the design process begins. The five dyes that are used are all natural. Those are o, lama, lo, angu, and soa. But today we will be using fabric paint. Okay guys, so there's two different methods to make siapo. One way that y'all can make it is a lei, which is a rubbing method where a painting board called an upeti is used to rub the design onto the ua. The second method is mamalu, which is the free-handed drawing on the ua, which to do that, we use paunga, a paintbrush that is made out of dried pendendus. The Siapo designs used are fa'a upenga or a net, and so sili'i, small lines or wavy lines, fa'a diadiao or a troca shell, fa'a singango, the male pandandus bloom, fa'a lau paongo or pandandus leaf, fa'a laulu or the bread le fruit leaf, fa'a tuli or sandpiper, fa'a ngongo, or the fa'atumoa or fa'amoa fai, banana pods. 
Fa'aveau, the starfish, or Fa'amasina, rolled pendendus leaves. The Anufe, or the worm, or the Akuloa, the centipede. Three, two, one. And here are some examples. This is pre paint. This is after paint. Mm. This, is, this turtle we got going on, and this beautiful lines we got going on. Look at mine. Mine's just cute. I mean, I didn't make it, but she's mine. I look at mine, y'all. Mine's the best of all. Y'all could look like mine. She wishes. Beautiful and everything. And then this is mine uh, that I also did back here that we're using for our backdrop. I donated it to Sound Solutions. So, yeah. Where can I purchase one like this? Oh, sorry. It's one time only. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, so now we will get on to the fun part. We will start our scalpel printing. And the first thing that you're going to need is to grab your beautiful apron from Pie Fest again, and also your t shirt and a piece of cardboard or paper. I have mine in between my t shirt so I could catch any paint that leaks through. So, yeah. And you will also be needing, you guys, this paint, your little fabric paints. And you guys will also be needing your Samoa and printing box that you guys were provided with. Um, also, you to put your paint on, you'll need like a lid or like a pipe pen, anything just to put your paint on. And optional, you can use your paint brushes from a previous workshop that we did to do like the freehand thing. Hi guys, it's Puncha here, and for a bonus method that we're going to be doing is stamping. And the steps that we're going to be taking is, your first step is to select the paint color that you'll be using and pour it out onto your flat surface or tableware cover. And then we're also going to be selecting our wooden piece that we're going to be using for this. And when you pour out your paint, you're going to take your roller and roll over the paint to apply the paint onto the roller. And then we're also going to take and use that same method by taking it and applying the same paint onto your wooden piece. And then what we're going to take our wooden piece with the paint on it and map out where we want our design at. And we're going to firmly press it down onto our t-shirt. So, and we're just going to continue that process over and over until your design is complete. We'll get started now. I'm going to take my black paint and I'm just going to pat it like this onto my flat surface to make sure to get enough out of it. And then make sure not to make a mess. I'm going to take my little roller and I'm going to roll over it like this. I suggest holding down your tubware cover or whatever flat surface that you're going to use so you can get enough paint onto your roller like that. And then after that, I'm going to take my wooden piece like this and choosing this design and just roll it a few times onto that and then I'm going to take this and map out where I want it I think I'm gonna put it right here up on top corner I'm just gonna push it down firm hold it for like two seconds one two and then release and then boom there's my thing Ooh. and I'm gonna try to do it again with the little one because I want a small design next to that one see so yeah, I'm gonna do the same exact process I'm just gonna repeat it just like that and make sure not to get too much because sometimes it sinks in between the snaps so try to be careful with that I know I probably got too much on it oh but yes, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Turn one, two, and then boom. And those are my designs. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys another method, which this method is a lay, which you guys are gonna to wanna to take your shirt and you guys are gonna to wanna to flip it inside out. And you guys are going to want to choose the color of your paint. And once you have your, your, your paint chosen, you're also gonna to wanna to choose out which block you want. And then you guys are going to want to take your roller and you guys want to, with your paint that you selected, you guys are going to want to take your roller, roll it into your guys' paint. And then after you guys have coated your little roller into the paint, you guys want to take it and you want to apply it onto the block. Once you guys have it onto the block, you're going to go ahead and you're going to insert it into your shirt. Make sure it is inside out. So you guys are going to want to insert it into your inside out shirt. And then you guys are going to want to put it Make sure your shirt is fully covered and place it wherever you want. And make sure your shirt does stay open when you have it or else it will smear other places. So once it is inserted inside there and it has your little block where you want it, go ahead and push your shirt down. And you could take your roller, make sure it's like a blank one that doesn't have any paint on it, and go ahead and roll over your block while it's inside the shirt to like make sure that all like the little paint is onto your shirt. Then you can go ahead, after you feel like it's all on there, you can go ahead and remove your block from the inside of your shirt. And 
there you guys go and you guys can repeat that step until you guys are done and you guys like it all right guys so now let's get started so as you guys can see i have my shirt here now i'm going to flip it inside out just like so all right so Okay, so now my shirt is flipped set inside out. As you can see, my tag is on the outside. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it out flat. Okay, so purple is the paint that I'm going to be using, the color that I'm gonna be using. You guys could just go ahead and take whatever color you guys are using, open her up, and then take your little tray or your little paper paper towel or paper or paper plate and then you just want to take your paint and uh, oops sorry y'all just stab her out on there actually you could just like if it's not coming out you guys can just go ahead and screw the cap back on and give it a little shake and then go over and then she should come right out i'm gonna put like a little good amount on there Hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. Okay, I think that'll be good. So you guys are gonna want to pour out however much you guys will need or want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my roller and my stamp, and I'm just gonna roll it into the purple a couple times like that. Ooh, purple. Doesn't she look nice? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take my block. What? My block. And I'm just gonna like that. Coat her over. Ooh, it's okay if you guys get it on the sides. You just wanna see how like the color, like that part is showing. You're gonna wanna pigment color it in with your color. See? Like this. I'm going to try to get like every little thing. You don't want to put too much paint on it though. Because you don't want it to be tacky when you're doing it. But you want to just put like enough. So that. She's. Gets there you know. See that beautiful print for whatever block that you chose. Eh? Wait is that good? I know I told you I not to put too much paint. But I'm just going to put a little bit more. Because. See that little flower. She don't want to be colored like. Come on, girl. You're gonna need to get stamped today. Okay, so now that she is covered with all the paint, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I want mine to be right here. So I'm just gonna take my block and I'm going to insert it into my shirt. As I can see, I'm leaving like a spacing so that it doesn't smear and I'm going to put my rock, my block right there. You guys see that? little purple right there so i'm just gonna push down go like that or like i said when i was in it take her clean one Ooh, bro roll out okay so once you guys feel like it is good enough you're gonna want to go ahead reach in and Oh, look at your yo. Look at her. She looks so pretty. Can y'all see her? Oops, sorry. It's hard to like show you guys. I hope you guys can see it. Unless I flip my whole shirt inside out. Wait. Oh, I think I can show y'all now. So this is basically an end result of what it will look like once you guys have printed it i'm sorry i was gonna flip it inside out but i don't want to smear because then it won't be like good for y'all to look at but yeah that'll basically be how it looks i hope you guys choose this method so far now we're gonna do the mimano method which is you want to grab your shirts your paint of your choice paint of your choice and paintbrush then you also let's do this you want to select your design that we showed y'all earlier and then paint your de that design onto your shirt any way you'd like.
as y'all can see, this is a finished product. My look, she my collections. Look at her. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see the bottom. <laughs> yeah. No, she crazy. Look at mine. Mine is definitely the best, y'all. No, no, oh. Mine's the best. You already know. I did the freaking freehand. This is natural challenge. That is the blocks. You know what? We want to see your awesomeness and your, your product. Your guys' final product. Yes. Don't forget to upload it to the Padlet when you're done. Snap a pic. And share I know. It, we'll be at I know. Guys. Even like take a picture like this, like hanging up or something, or put it on your bonnie. Try that, guys. Because you know what? It's gonna be awesome. Good looks. And if you guys, before you guys wash it, and you guys want to keep this on, like your design, your beautiful design, what you guys are gonna want to do is you guys are gonna grab some parchment paper and put it on her all over your design, and then. You guys might need your parental's help, so ask them for help. Might need no, ask your parents for help. Make oh. sure because you're gonna be using yeah. the hot iron. You're gonna put the parchment the parchment paper on top of your beautiful work of art, and then your parents are gonna iron it on there just so it can stay there forever and ever, and you'll have a cute shirt. Uh, yeah, and you can also reference the instructions on the fabric paint box. Mm -hmm. It says it on there. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for mm -hmm. watching. Love you guys. Bye. This is on three. One, two, three. Deuces. And Alicia for you guys' awesome demonstrations of what we were going to do. Uh, once you guys are done, I would love to see all of um, you guys' t-shirts. Um, you can upload a picture of them onto the Padlet of you wearing it or just holding it out, whatever you want to do. So now we are going to move on to. Oh, any questions? Any questions? Anyone have anything that they're confused about or you want to go back on? You can drop them in the chat if you want. But if you do want to follow along with the video again, it will be uploaded to YouTube so you can follow along with it. And then now we're going to have our quote of the week by Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Hey y'all, anyway, sorry for the interruption. But I'm going to share today's quote of the week in the Polynesian coloring book. And the quote of the week is, oh, let me see y'all can see it. I can see it. Kahuna nui hale ke lani makua. That is a Hawaiian proverb which translates to English as love all you see, including yourself. Yeah. And this is the coloring page. Don't forget to color it and show us on the padlet because you want to see your awesome work. And the joke of the week, y'all. Um, your guys' favorite part. What do you guys get? When you cross two squares and an ogre. What? what? A Shrek tingle. But I got you another one, bro. Oh. Okay. Oh, so what animal came before the seagull? What? what? A beagle. Oh. 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it for my section, guys. Have a good week. Wow. Thank you, Aaliyah, for the double joke of the week. That was amazing. Um, Now, yes, a beagle. Funny, huh? Now, we will have Alicia introduce our words of the week. And then after, I will do the announcement. So, Alicia. Hey guys, so I'm back again and I'm gonna be reading guys the words of the week. Oh, can y'all see? Um, if you guys wanna practice them with me, go ahead and grab your calendar. It's in your binder that was in your white bag. Um Hey y'all! <laughs> Sorry. All right, so let's read the words of the week. So today is May 22nd. So today's word is pa'e pa'e, which is white. Sunday's word is efuefu, 
which is gray. Monday's word is Lana Moana, which is blue. Tuesday's word is Moo Moo, which is red. Wednesday's word is Lanu Me Mata, which is green. Thursday's word is Sama Sama, which is yellow. And lastly, Friday's word is Ena Ena, which is brown. That's it for the words of the week, guys. Okay. Thank you, Alicia, for the words of the week. Those were our colors, if you guys did not know. Now to um, close it out, we will start by um, asking if you guys have any questions. Do you need any help with anything? Um, we will have, like I, get, like I said before, we will have the YouTube video uploaded on YouTube, obviously, Salmon Solutions YouTube channel. So if you guys wanted to follow along with um, the workshop part, the printing for the t-shirts, that will be up and you can take as much time as you need and post them on the pilot if you want. So to close it out, we're going to have our announcements. I only have one announcement. So um, we have two announcements. Oh, yes. And we have two announcements, sorry. So we will be having a, um, survey emailed to the participants for our workshops just to help us keep this going. So please um, fill out that survey. It will be emailed to all of you. And um, also don't forget to upload your artwork to the Padlet. Now this week's practice, if you are um, going to be practicing with us, it will be at Osloma Park in South City. So please join us. And I believe there's one more thing. Um, okay, so we're gonna stay on for a little bit longer the Zoom if you have any more questions or you need to talk to us about something. And that is about it. Thank you all for joining and I hope you all enjoyed.